Welcome back. I'm Chef Michael Gerard. We're going to talk about fire and wood for a minute here. Uh, the key things you want to understand about how to architect a fire in the oven so that it comes up to temperature quick and it makes it easy. First step you want to do is take two fairly good sized pieces of wood, uh, like we see here, about the size of your forearm. Put them parallel to each other with a space between. You'll crisscross smaller pieces of kindling, build up a little house just like you see here, crisscross one direction then the other direction. <coughs> You'll use one of our fire starter cubes available on the website here. Take one of these and put it under the house here, just like that. Light it, it'll go off very easy. Additionally, you may want to structure some wood behind the fire. Pieces of wood that you can build up. This would be behind the fire, stack them up. The heat of the fire will carry through to the, the logs and back and just burn it. So if you structure it, put enough of this in the fire, in the oven at the, in the beginning, you won't have to keep throwing wood in there. It'll just burn right through, carry on to the back of the oven. Additionally, pay attention to the type of wood you use. Hardwoods are going to give you a better coal base, burn at higher BTUs. In your region, uh, you're going to have different woods that are easily available. Here in California, oak is, you know, the wood of choice. It's everywhere. Burns hot, burns long, gives you good, strong coal. So. That's what we use. Uh, if you're back east, it might be hickory, it might be cherry, maples, any of the hardwoods. Stay away from softwoods like pine. They're noxious. They produce a lot of creosote, which boogers up your chimney quick. Uh, you're going to basically take this system and set it up in the oven, and we'll show you how that carries through once, uh, once you light the fire. Okay, well we're back here at the Wildwood Test Kitchen and we're here at the oven and we're gonna actually light the oven and light the fire. So what we've done is we've taken the structure, the, the small branded elevated kindling and we're gonna go ahead and light it using the fire starter squares. I'm gonna show you just how easy this is. I wanna also mention the key to any successful fire is to have really good dry wood. That way it combusts quickly. So make sure your wood is seasoned at least one year, preferably more. You want it really dry. That's just going to sit there and that's going to catch everything on. Uh, it'll just burn right through that stru little structure we've built up and it'll carry right into the back of the oven. So pretty much at this time, feel free to go and start making your pizza dough uh, and working on other uh, processes for cooking. I'm going to let you see that. That's going to just go. That's going to go, and you're going to be amazed at how quick that starts and burns through. Okay. Well, as you can see, our fire is pretty well involved, and it's this is the time that we want to take our oven brush. We want to move the fire to the back of the oven. And the reason we're going to do that is for two reasons. We're getting a lot of spillage up the chimney right now. That's loss of heat. So we're going to move it back, and the flames are going to roll around the oven and heat it much better. We're going to let that burn for another 20, 30 minutes. and. Uh, come back to it and see how it looks.